Probably need to get out of bed, guys. Probably need to get out of bed. Because we have somebody coming in like 20 minutes. Girl. Girl. We have to, yeah, we have to get out of bed, girl. Whoa. The sky is so pretty right now. A lot of you all wanted a tree update. So I will do that right now. This whole gap right here used to be covered. But with the ice, that's what broke off between this tree and then this tree. It only has two things now. It used to have a lot more to cover this whole gap. I'm very fortunate. I get it. I have seen a lot of damage. What? Okay. Hold on. Hey, little girl. What's up? Anyways, what I was trying to say is even though this doesn't look bad, in, like on camera, I was going to say in person, but on camera, it really doesn't. Um, I'm still very sad we just moved in, so it killed me that we had to lose anything like that. That was a big charm of the home. This tree is still not out of the woods, by the way, so that is something that I, why I'm a little bit worried still. They did everything that they could do, and they think that it can be saved, and they treated it, and they pruned it, and all kinds of stuff. It's just not completely out of the woods yet, so that's kind of why I'm I'm sad as well, but you know, you never want to move in and then see that kind of loss. And I know a lot of other people, let me just say that right now. I know a lot of other people had it worse and I am very grateful. Okay. Like I know people had home damage. They had electricity out for, I don't know how long car damage, all kinds of things. Um, I'm just, I'm still just a little sad. So I know I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful guys. Um, just yeah. Y'all I heard a loud thump. And this little baby, no, I can't. I can't pick him or her up. I can't. Oh my God, this breaks my heart. Ay, ay, ay.